Uh, there actually is something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about that's been going on here. Um, so yesterday, yesterday was June 1st, so that was the day that we could have qualified for Star Seller on Etsy. Um, however, unfortunately, there was... I really don't want to talk about Okay, so I uh, don't even know really where to start on all of this, but um, at the end of May, there was a customer that had a problem with one of their adaptive flasks getting delivered. It looks like USPS just lost the package and never got scanned in. We dropped it off, but it never shows that it had any record of making it to the post office. Um, so typically when stuff like this has happened to us in the past, we just uh, refund the customer and give them a replacement. So this happened on Sunday. The customer reached out with a help request letting us know that the package hadn't been delivered. So we took it upon ourselves to refund the customer. And um, since Monday was a bank holiday, we were not able to ship the item out right away. And at that point, the customer went ahead and left a one-star review on the listing saying that uh, it had been 10 days, the, they had never got it. And then when he brought it to our attention, we just canceled the order. Um, so we definitely dropped the ball on the communication aspect. We probably should have let the customer know right away um, that we were going to be sending them a replacement and that they could have a refund. That would have avoided this whole situation. However, that's not what we did. Just gonna have to be something that we learned from. Um, so yeah, the one star review. And then we explained everything to the customer, told them how we screwed up on the communication and didn't tell them this and that. And everything was gonna be all right. The customer uh, accepted that and was like, okay, cool, I'll go change my review right now. And then um, a few minutes had passed by and then the customer messaged us, us again and is like, hey, I can't update my review. It says that the order uh, was refunded and canceled which is true, we refunded and canceled their order per our uh, policy if it does not show up in USPS's system. So then here's where things really start to break down. Uh, since we uh, refunded and canceled the guy's order, Etsy for some reason only allows the customer to leave a review in a 48 hour period after the order has been refunded or canceled. Um, so after that period has lapsed, the customer can no longer edit or leave a review. Um, basically, if you guys aren't seeing where I'm going with this, the customer was unable to update their one-star review, and now we have a permanent one-star review on the listings um, that we cannot change or update despite the customer wanting to. Oh man, so that would have been bad enough by itself, but because of that one-star review, that dropped us below 4.8 rating on Etsy. And if you drop below 4.8 rating, you are unable to make star seller because that is one of the requirements. You have to be 4.8 rated. You have to have 95% uh, on-time message response, which Etsy qualifies as answering the message within 24 hours. And then you also have to um, ship your orders on time 95% of the time. We are hitting both of the other two metrics, the on-time shipping and messages, and we were even hitting the uh, review for basically the entire month of May until that review had came in. So uh, because of that one review that we couldn't, could not get updated, we did not make Star Seller on Etsy, and where the story gets even deeper is if you are Star Seller on Etsy, Etsy won't put a payment reserve on your account. And if you are a star seller and you like, you're basically fucking up, um, Etsy will go out of their way to tell you how to not mess up and how to get back in good standing. They will not put a payment reserve on your account, even if you are fucking up, just because you have that star seller badge. However, since we did not get the star seller badge, Etsy decided to put a payment reserve on our account. Now, if you guys aren't already familiar with what a payment reserve is, a payment reserve is where Etsy will hold your money until you ship the item and it hits the mail stream. So that means that typically we got paid out for our Etsy orders the next business day. Now we have to wait until the item ships. And on custom screen print transfers, our standard shipping time on Etsy is three to five days. So I'm sure you guys can see our problems here. Um, 
This is really, really unfortunate. We've had a payment reserve put on our accounts once before, and it was pretty catastrophic. Like, it really hurt the money situation for the business, having to wait until the transfers hit the mail stream for the funds to be released. So that's like basically a minimum of like waiting eight to nine days to get the money because uh, like I said, three to five day shipping time. And then, then at that point, Etsy will release the money. So um, then it still has to hit your bank account. So Etsy releases the money, probably another day goes by and then Etsy sends the money to your bank account. Another day goes by and then you finally have the money in your bank account. So like, yeah, all in all, probably eight to nine days delay getting my money. And then, um, because I was so confused, we had not been doing any of the things that we were previously doing to get a payment reserve put on our account. I was extremely confused why they did it. I honestly thought that it might be a glitch because on their forum it says, we will email you and there will be a notice on your shop advisor that you have a payment reserve, but we did not get an email. There was no notice on our shop advisor and the Etsy dashboard has been a little bit glitchy. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just a glitch and we didn't actually get it. Reach out to customer support ask, can you please explain why a payment reserve was put on my account? Their response is, unfortunately, we do not uh, list the detailed specifics of why payment reserves are placed on our seller's account, blah, 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 bogus, bogus, bullshit. Uh, so yeah, didn't tell us why we did it, so I'm really not sure how we can improve to not have a payment reserve put on our account if they don't tell us what we did wrong. Um, but yeah, that was a very useful uh, support ticket from Etsy always a best in class customer service for their sellers. Um, but yeah, that's great guys. I guess our only opportunity now is to have a payment reserve put on our account for the next 30 days. And then hopefully we can hit star seller uh, for June. And then uh, we will join the exclusive club that Etsy loves so much of star sellers. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's the, pl that's the plan at least. That's what we're thinking. <sighs> I really, I, this year we made it a goal to get off of Etsy and move the business entirely onto uh, platforms that we control like our website and um, website for AMS, website for WW. That's been going pretty well, but Etsy is still a pretty big source of income for the business. Um, and it's not like something that we can just turn off right now because the tap in terms of the revenue that Etsy brings in is pretty large. Um, and that's not even to say, we've honestly been having a lot of different problems with Etsy this year for different reasons. Um, I'm not sure if it's just us or what, but our listings have been down like 50% month over month in terms of like visits and um, traffic to the like actual page views on the listing itself. So I don't know what's up with that. That's been incredibly annoying. We haven't changed anything. Our listing is still exactly the same. Our reviews have gone up. Our turnaround time is exactly the same. I don't know what it is, um, but that's, really, that's been really frustrating to deal with. Thankfully, the website has been picking up the last period, so it hasn't really been that much of an impact on the business having the Etsy slow down. But yeah, guys, it's just super frustrating, super annoying. Um, one of the things that we have to deal with being um, a business on someone else's platform, you gotta play by their rules, I guess. So whatever, man, just... Uh, really shows us that we need to accelerate the move to our own platform, a platform that we control completely, like our website, and uh, get ourselves off of Etsy, man. I can't stand Etsy. I can't stand the power that Etsy has over us, the power that Etsy customers have over us via the review system, and everything about it, man. Uh, the fees that Etsy takes, like Etsy takes, Etsy has probably made like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars off of my business in the past time that I have been on Etsy, just off of their fees. Um, and yeah, here they are, <laughs> hassling me, hog tying me with my money, and uh, whatever, man. You take it on the chin and do what you can. <laughs>